Hi, hello, and welcome. I'm definitely not disconnected, and you're watching me bug my way to what rating? What? You've been disconnected. I just logged in. Anyway, I'm definitely not Vlad, and you're watching me go from zero to hero on a resto druid and Dragonflight season four on a resto druid. Did I say that? I don't. I'm so flustered by this disconnect message. What the heck was that? Anyway, in today's episode, we're gonna go ahead and just do some M plus. I finally have the four set. I'm curious to see how I'll do. I've gotten some more info on how to play, and I've also been suggested some changes to my play style. Let's see if I can utilize all of those and just just make the most of my kit. I'm gonna try and actually use iron fur or not iron fur sorry iron bark that one yeah the external as much as possible and i'm gonna try and use regrowth more than rejuvenation because i've been overusing rejuvenation and underutilizing regrowth i also don't make much use of my Clear casts. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. My brain froze there for a second. I literally could not remember the name of the buff. Anyway, let's just get into it. Let's try and do the keys that we haven't done yet this week. All right, now, before I do anything, there is a bug with one of my weak auras that I really, really want to fix. So hold on here now. If I get into combat, see, this is jumping, even though it shouldn't be. When I don't have any clear casting, it shouldn't be doing anything. So let me just moonfire this thing so we get out of combat. And let's take a quick look over here at the druid weak auras resto. And where the heck is it? That would be above the bar regrowth reminder okay so if this one yeah there we go i think that should do it let's take a quick look now i changed one of the never mind now it's just constantly glowing because i broke it completely so let's take another look at that um instead of it being always i should change it to hold on no 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 no, no. there's there's other things i need to change so if rs found false or if stacks less than two i don't want this thing to show up so let's give this a third try and there we go now it's working just fine let's see if we can actually just quickly none of these are allies okay so we have this thing is active but that is because i'm not in a group and i don't have two of these active i really want that second stack there we go when i have two stacks of clear casting it starts to jump up and down that's perfect and when i use one it's going to go away that is exactly what i wanted okay so we fixed that now and what i'm also going to do is i'm going to separate my weak auras like the different classes that i have out of this overarching weak aura because there's a lot of people that have been just struggling to import all of it and been having issues with the weak auras because of the huge number of them there's like a thousand or something it's not good anyway i'm gonna separate it on a class basis i thought that it would be useful to keep them all lumped into one definitely not lad group but it's just it's not worth it. it's just been bothering people okay so i should do time walking i i think doing time walking might be worth it because i get a champion piece and i don't actually have many champion pieces other than my awakened ones and my offhand and my helmet yeah my helmet's also champion piece i remember getting that from the first weekly quest so let's do five time walking dungeons real quick oh i have a champion belt that's nice but yeah let's do the five time walking dungeons i'm just gonna skip through that i don't think that's particularly interesting content and then we'll get into some m plus all right let's use convoke after using whatchamacallit's that's heart of the wild and all that and that actually puts me up there in the damage wait what oh, i thought it said ferocious Bar or felled barrage for me <laughs> i'm like that's the wrong class but yes that would be the fifth dungeon we just did i'm gonna peace out let these guys keep going on if they want to with the tank get themselves those quicker cues i did stick with the same tank for the last four dungeons the first one had a very very slow group so i just decided not to do that one again we have the cache of awakened treasures let's see here shoulders okay cool shoulders we're going to uh, i guess i'll just terrify those i do need still uh shoulders terrified in order to continue having the four set which i have had a chance now to actually test out i've been doing quite well it's very nice to see uh, see the work that it's doing it didn't do much in in this like um this isn't a good uh, showcase of what it does that's 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 the word i was looking for so like this i can ignore it because it's mostly life bloom because i've been just you know throwing life blooms on the tank who is the only one who really takes damage wasn't really looking where i was going so we flew a bit almost over the place i needed to go here we are let's slap these shoulders in transform Form. give it to me i want it give it to me give it to me there we go and that's two out of eight shoulders now it's actually a nice item level upgrade as well seven item levels higher i'm cool with that we have still oh hold, hold on now now we can't be walking around like that like some kind of some kind of animal <laughs> okay well there we go now we've solved that issue as well 
Now, 493 item level, not particularly amazing, but it's good enough for us to be doing the fives that I want to do. We have an Azure Vault. Have I done an Azure Vault this week? I have not. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that Azure Vault. I'm going to aim for like three dungeons this uh, episode. It's also coming out on a Tuesday instead of a Monday because I've realized like I want to give myself more time in the same week. So putting the episode out on Tuesday gives me a whole extra day of the same week, which makes it much, much better for me because I can get more done in a single week. Now, what do we want to do we want to there was something i wanted to do and i can't remember what it was oh well it'll have to wait for after the dungeon because right now i want to just get started with the dungeon why did i go into the auction house what am, what am i doing something's going on in my brain in my brain and i'm not catching up to it but i'll probably figure it out when it's way too late to actually make it matter <laughs> <laughs> and I'm glad I remembered. Okay, so I wanted to drop my key because my key is currently a 7 and I don't want to do a 7. I feel like doing a 7 would be a uh, bad idea, a very bad idea. I am excited to see how the actual tier set does. Like having the, the 4 set bonus is, is I feel like that's going to be really, really massive. I mean, look at this thing. So I'm I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that I'll, I'll manage to make it worthwhile. No, not W3 plus 5 Azure Vault. No, not W plus 5, just plus 5 Azure Vault. List the group. And let's see what kind of group of people we can get ourselves. I should have expected that there's going to be a, like a bunch of people just looking to join because of the uh, Azure Vault having the trinket, best in slot trinket for the majority of casters this season, if not all of them. The Tome or whatever the heck it's called. Let me take a look here. Current season. No, that's Academy, dumbass. Uh, Azure Vault, loot. And let's put it to Mythic Plus. Where is the Tome? Yeah, Tome of Unstable Power. It is, it is absolutely ridiculous. It doesn't look like much, but it just does so much damage it's not it like it, it'll straight up do like 10 to, to more 10 or even more percent of your damage of course that depends on the like damage that your class does and if there's only one thing that does damage in your entire kit like let's say you're uh, a destruction warlock right arena fire is going to do the most of your damage it's going to do like 60 percent of your damage it might not do 10 percent of your damage there because something else is doing so much but yeah at any rate it is going to be doing a significant chunk of your damage it's definitely worth getting on most healers want it from my understanding pretty much every healer wants it because it just does so much damage that it's worth it this group is way decked out for a five i don't want to be taking them good okay they, they declined or they uh, canceled um i'm thinking we'll take speed hunter 504 that's fine 508 from mimrose why not and now we need a bloodlust if i take the 516 dps i don't think that's going to be a challenging run at all so we're just going to chill here for a bit until we get a bloodlust that isn't way over geared and then we also need a tank and then we we pew pew, zug zug, scritchy scratch, whatever the heck we do. Oh, hey, a blood DK 505. They've done a plus plus five Brackenhide and a two untimed AV. Ooh, that doesn't look that great with an untimed AV, but let's just take them anyway. Maybe that AV was not their fault. Although when you see a tank with untimed keys, it's kind of disconcerting, honestly, because tanks have the absolute most impact and whether or not a key is timed. Now we're just going to wait for a, there's our bloodlust. Let's go. And here we go with a plus five Azure Vault. It is plus five, isn't it? Yes it is my key says four but it's five because it drops your key the second you start the key okay we're gonna give ourselves movement speed here we're gonna start life blooming the tank rejuve on the tank tanks kind of stopping weirdly here tank tank tanks why is he stopping here why we're gonna roar that oh no what have I what have I gotten myself into? Let's keep that life bloom rolling. Tank may well be. I did not mean to knock that back. Now I have nothing for this. Okay, well let's get the. <laughs> okay, I need all the lumpy boys out in force. There's gonna be multiple stacks of this nonsense going through. Okay, we got this. We got this though. We got this though. We got this tier set. We've got the lovely DPS doing quite a bit. Half a million DPS from the hunter. Very nice to see. Uh, this tank is absolutely lost in the sauce. I'm gonna be say. I'm gonna say it right now this tank does not know what's going on uh we're gonna roar that that prevented three casts beautiful we're going to give this person big heals because they seem to need it we're just gonna switch life bloom to them they seem to be tanking okay the second i switch my life bloom over that's when they stop taking damage of course yeah let's <laughs> whatever man and we're gonna go kitty cat form here actually we're gonna dash to this just so i don't take much damage here um i didn't mean to switch my life bloom over i wanted to cast a different spell but that's that's okay we're just gonna switch life bloom over now and switch life bloom again and that's really bad to do 
do, by the way. Make sure you put your life bloom on the tank and yourself or on the tank and someone else, I guess. I've, I've had mixed like suggestions regarding this. Um, some people say use it on the tank and yourself always. Other people say use it on two different people other than yourself because that'll give you more chances of it blooming. We're going to dash over to the tank real quick and just hope that... Ah, see, I'm, I'm flustered now. And we're just going to hope that the... Uh, whatchamacallit's... The people interrupt the damn trees. That's what I'm trying to say. Jesus. Ah, oh, commentating and playing this game is so hard sometimes. This is kind of ridiculous, but okay. Let's keep the tank and myself hotted up. That is going to be my goal for now. Okay, this person needs some Jesus in their life. Let's go. Let's go give them some Jesus. Okay. They're good now. They're good now. I don't know what they stood in, but that that didn't look like they enjoyed that at all. No. Anyway. But yeah, I've had mixed mixed feedback about who you should use Life Bloom on. Some say you should put it on the tech and yourself always, because uh, that way you'll have 25% increased tick rate. But others say keep it on two different people, because that way you will have the, what are they called? The increased chance of blooming, dealing AoE healing. I don't know what the right call is, to be honest with you. I just... I just just do things and uh, wing it and it kind of works out for the most part i haven't really bricked many keys other than the first key i ever did i'm not sure okay this person needs a lot of healing let's put one of our tree ant boys on him i'm hoping we do well here as far as the like breaking the trees goes yeah tank needs big heals let's give him the big heals we put all our hots on them. Okay, explosive brand. I'm going to try and break these that are in the center. Rehot the tank. Let's do regrowths here. Send in out a tree ant at the same time. I'm going to try and stay away from these guys. I'll put a vortex on them just because I can. Do some rejuves. And we have two. Oh, look at that healing coming through from the tier set. That's beautiful. That's massive. That's a lot of healing. I like that. I like that a lot. Tank's going to get hit with infused strike here. I don't expect them to actually start using their defensive for once so i'm just going to give them big hots so that they can deal with that okay there's the frontal coming through i'm gonna get the hell away from that i don't think i need to do much here because the which we'll call it the boss is dead okay cool let's give movement speed to everyone i'm gonna ping so people can turn around towards the same direction beautiful i feel like i did okay there um so what i was doing there i was trying to keep life bloom on tank and myself regrowth everyone else because it'll put regrowth on life bloom targets as well and then uh, what should calls it? Rejuve if I have time. Otherwise, reapply my other maintenance thingies. And since the Gro Grove Guardians are actually off the global cooldown, I kind of mix them in when I finish casting a regrowth. So I'll Grove Guardian regrowth, and that that used one or two of them. I should use more of them, honestly. That's like my one big thing that I don't do is is the Grove Guardians. Definitely need more of that. What is this? Oh, cannot benefit from Rune of Sanguination. Is that what they're using instead of whatever the heck else it should be? Interesting. All right. Are we just gonna keep this tank? Hot it up because they just they just don't use any of their offensives they don't, haven't used dart and dancing rune weapon a single time even on the boss fight they, they, they didn't use it so they're still learning it's okay it's a five they can learn i'm thinking that two untimed av might have been due to a healer not accommodating them let's put it that way <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give us movement speed once we get over there. Uh, should I? Because I don't know if we're going to try and pull with the patrol. I don't think I'll give us movement speed. I'll save our movement speed because I think we're just going to pull this and then, yeah, that's what that, that's what we're going to do. All right. Tank needs big, big heals. Fine. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to cast star fires at the curator. That, that, that's all I can really do. I need to move in closer to be able to, you know, let's wake this guy up. September has ended. Billy Joe needs to get up. Yes, I did just make a reference. <laughs> <laughs> to wake me up when september ends oh okay we're not doing we're not doing that are we okay let me just regrowth that should be enough to keep us alive here i think a waking bane did to get cast again let's wake up billy joe armstrong again and i'm going to knock these guys i don't want to have to deal with people getting what are they called cc it again i do have the spell available for that sleep when it goes out somebody did silence it it looks like the what's his face priest silenced it we need to wake up speed hunter there we go okay interesting definitely interesting let's give everyone movement speed and let's re reapply these hots okay man this is uh this is this is a little bit spicy but it's it's chill enough we're going to roar this uh tank's gonna need some healing so let's just put a, one of the lumpy boys on him i don't know this tank is scaring me a lot i don't usually have to heal tanks this much but then again maybe i'm just mistrusting of led dk maybe he does take care of himself well he did use some cooldowns there there previously but we're just gonna keep a nice chunk of hots on, on on our friend here regardless because i feel like they they will definitely benefit from it i am neglecting my uh, efflorescence efflorescence actually does a good chunk of healing so could not be ignoring that maybe kitty cat 
for him for a bit. Let's let's just a little bit of kitty cat form. Never mind. Let's roar. Okay, the roar didn't really work out. Okay, that's the second I go into kitty cat form, everyone decides to start taking damage. The speed hunter decides to take a frontal to the face. That just goes to show, kitty cat form is a no no. We're gonna knock this guy. I don't want to get get that frontal coming through. Am I free to cat form here for a little bit? It looks like I am. Okay, we're just gonna scratch up that little guy first. Activate the circle. Just keep people awake. Totally not because I didn't see it there. <laughs> Piercing shards. I should try to actually roar that. Yeah, I'm gonna roar this one. I'm glad I kept my roar because the tank decided to turn towards the group. That's not exactly great. Oh no. Okay, being knocked up by the volcanic prevented the actual swirly from hitting me. I didn't realize I was stepping into a swirly there. Tank luckily did not move everything towards the group. Didn't move that frontal towards the group, so we're good here. That worked out in the silliest kind of way. Volcanic actually saved my ass instead of ruining my day. <laughs> I didn't think that worked that way. Maybe I just wasn't in the swirly. Maybe it just looked like I was in the swirly. I don't know. I hope the tank goes this side. Yes, he's going this side. Very good. Because then we don't have to deal with the frontals from there. Unless he decides to pull that regardless. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I have no idea what to expect from this tank because he's just kind of standing in those frontals there. He's... I don't think he planned on pulling this. He kind of just walked into it. I'm going to look for... Oh, goodness. You need some Jesus. Okay, there we go. We gave him some Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, a death grip interrupt. That's sick. Okay, I didn't expect that from, from Rocker here, here. Sorry, I keep bashing this tank, but like... It, it, he's moving kind of awkwardly. He's, you know, it, it feels like he's new. It feels like his route isn't really all that planned out. But you know what? So far, so good. He survived everything that's been thrown at him. He doesn't have to do amazing. It's just a five. I should stop being so so silly about it. The patrol is away, so we might be missing some percent here because we didn't really pull anything extra. I think, yeah, we're going to be missing percent. Potentially, potentially, I should say, because maybe he wants to pull the two guards in the back, which I understand if that's the case because you can pull him with some extra stuff here. The patrol you can only pull the three mobs um okay my friend here is going to get a big old shield uh, <laughs> uh maybe i'm just overreacting to to blood dk yo-yoing right although i really wish he used dancing rune weapon at least once this run that would be really nice if he did that because that's a huge dps increase for him maybe that would be enticing i don't know we're looking for ic bindings there we go we found the ic bindings my guy is scaring me staying low pretty long we're just gonna start fire the keeper because the keeper is the scary one because he's got his little thing we're going to put vortex down and then we're going to knock back that's condensed frost that's not good ic bindings is going to go through uh, but Okay, there's no swirlies coming in, so it's not that scary. It's not that scary. We good. We good. All right, let's give movement speed. Unfortunately, Tank didn't receive the movement speed buff because he was out of range. That's okay. I should have moved closer to him. Really want to roar the icy bindings here. Really want to roar the icy bind. I wasn't in range to roar the icy bindings. Um, somebody did kick it. That's good. We're going to reapply these. Oh, he used Nancy rune weapon. Sick, dude. Nice job. He found the key bind, guys. He found the key bind. We're going to give him ice or oh, iron bark oh my friend you dipped low why am i so freaked out dude i played a blood dk i know that they yo-yo i know that i should also be able to ignore him e effectively but that's not been the case this dungeon i don't think he would have really made it without me healing him but maybe i'm wrong maybe i should actually let's give it let's give it the old cottage try we're going to just life bloom him and let him fend for himself i'm just gonna look for some dps here dash over to rogue here um never mind i volcanic had different ideas for me you don't need to do anything here just maintenance healing Let's start fire the crap out of the keeper. I'm trying not to use cat. Well, I'm not trying not to use cat form, but I just I don't want to use cat form. We do have roar. We're going to roar the icy binding, and there we go. Didn't need to heal him at all. Although that previous pull with the scale veil lieutenant, I would heal any tank there because it's just a really rough pull for the tank. We have bloodlust rolling <clears throat> yet again. Excuse me. Might need to uh, heal people here a bit. Well, I'll, I'll need to keep, heal them on the intermission. Tank is keeping the boss close to the center, which is not ideal because um, they can't. Uh... Oh my goodness. A push and pull. I'll roar next, but I really would like it if somebody could help me with this. We're going to go ahead and CR Ooh, both of these guys. Oh, my friend, you can't be doing that. Let's get lumpy and stumpy on this. Ah, screw it. Steve, come out as well. Consume this and give wild growth. Avoid the orbs at all costs. Reapply life blooms. Get these regrowths out on people. Okay, we're good. It's not so scary. Just need the illusion to die. Okay, well, if people get hit by the swirlies, then it's scary, I guess. But now we do have Tree of Life. So let's get some rejuves out. Really hot everyone up. 
There we go. That's beautiful. Now I should be free to just cast. I do wish people switched a bit harder to the adds or that the tank actually... I meant to put that life bloom on the on the tank and not, not this person, but it's okay. Oh, I really wish that the tank just death gripped the adds, but the tank seems to be a little, bit, a little bit lost in the sauce. Let's be honest here. A little bit lost in the sauce. Poquito. Let's give them all movement speed like so. Everyone should be affected by it now. I can stealth mode. Tank shouldn't get one shot by this guy, right? Why do I have aggro? This is the question that I have right now. But maybe I was just hitting it a bit too hard before he could get aggro on everything. I think we're good. Okay. Tank doesn't seem to be good. My friend, use a defensive. Maybe you would survive. Man, this is rough. I don't know. I don't know how to heal this tank. Uh, he's just not using anything. He's just standing there and getting pummeled to death. Bestial roar coming through. Let's get some of the lumpy boys out for this. Reapply those life blooms to get our clear casts out. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's nice. I mean, we got this. We got this. Okay, this is a good test of my tank healing capabilities here. <laughs> uh, can I keep a blood DK who uses one dancing rune weapon per dungeon alive? That's the that's the that's the, <laughs> that's the title of the video. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. We're just gonna moon fire this bad boy. Tank Tank seems to be lagging as well. He just moonwalked there for a second. Is he gonna stop and fight two frogs? I I hope not. I'll give him movement speed. Maybe that encourages him to keep going. Okay, it seems to to have encouraged him. Okay, it looks like we're stopping here. I'm just gonna put down efflorescence. Use <laughs> defensive here because I kind of stood right on top of that. It's hot up the tank like crazy. Get these regrowths out. Oh yeah, this is yeah this is good. I feel like I'm doing good. Stumpy and lumpy out. That should be good. Yeah yeah. It's pretty good. It's good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. This tank's just, his health bar's not moving now. He's like, he's focused. He's in the zone. He's spamming those death strikes. He's building up the blood shield. Ain't nothing touching him now. I'm surprised nobody activated a single one of these. That's impressive. Good job, guys. Tank is now dragging all of these guys around. We're just moon firing everything, getting sunfire out. Let's put our life blooms out. Let's give the tank a bit of old shield because his health dipped. I'm just, I think I'm reacting to blood DKs is what I'm doing right now. Like, they, they, I don't need to worry about them that much. My Starfire target just jumped away from the group, and I Starfired effectively just one mob, I think, but that's unfortunate. It's not like it's a big deal. My Starfire doesn't do all that much. Actually, yes, it does. Look at that. I did like 50k DPS there just doing Moonfire on mobs. I'm going to hot up the tank here. I'm going to give him Iron Bark as well. I've been using that a little bit more lately. Quite happy with that. Put one of the Lumpy Boys on him. I think I sent out Steve there. I think it was the third one in a row that I sent out. I need to get my second Life Bloom out. Consume this. Now, he can yell again and I should be ready for it. I'm just gonna reapply all these life blooms. Bestial Roar's going out. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Like, I'm ready. I know how to deal with AoE stuff now. That's... I had a bit of help from someone on the Discord called Heck. Uh, they helped me out quite a bit with just figuring out how to actually ramp on this spec. So I feel much more prepared now to actually handle any kind of AoE damage coming in. I still don't feel comfortable, uh, uh, like, uh, whatchamacallit, it's going kitty cat form, but, you know what, here, a little, a little kitty cat form. There we go. A couple of shreds that were up to no good. Started shredding frogs in my neighborhood. Uh, the priest needs two sacks. And that's okay. The tank saying he missed a couple in broken English. My friend, you missed a lot. Kill boss first. Yeah, we should we should kill the bosses first, and then we should go for the thingy. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm lost because his his health dipped so low that I freaked out and continued talking even though I was really really lost in the sauce. Can I shadow meld this? Yes, I can. Look at that. <laughs> Probably should have kept that for the boss fight though, to be honest with you, but. <laughs> Oh well, you know, I feel like I'm okay here. Just gonna keep this on the tank though. Keep 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 the tank nice and safe. I don't know where we're going with this. I don't know where my friend is dragging these uh, these mobs, but oh well. Cool. Whatever. Uh, we do the bosses, and then we're gonna teleport out at the end of the dungeon uh, and just do like the first room, and we'll be we'll be set for percent. I'm not gonna use my roar here or anything. We're gonna use the roar to get to the circle of safety after the first set of frost bombs goes out. So. Why, why did I put life bloom on that person? Let me put it on myself. Get these regrowths out. Consume this wild growth. We got more regrowths coming in because we have tree of life. I think I can leave this here. Nice. Look at that. Everyone full health. Everyone full health. And I don't even have to use movement speed because we were already there because the tank parked it pretty close to us. I shouldn't be throwing my dots at the at the boss here, but oh well. Why didn't I light? Why am I life blooming people randomly? Just life blooming others for no reason. I'm going to stand here in the corner. Also shouldn't be standing in that eye. But luckily, I have a bit of time to, uh, to to just get away from that. We're going to use big old shield.
shield on myself here so I can deal with this volcanic knocking me up and the thing being on me. We seem to be good though. All right, let's just regrowth everyone. Beautiful. Move this here. I mean, look at that. I barely have to do anything. It's almost like it's a fortified five or something. <laughs> Put out a lumpy boy, regrowth a couple of people. I'm going to shadow meld this one so I don't have to deal with the damage. And uh, we can get over here, consume this, and we're going to wild growth right as that finishes casting. There it is. Get those life blooms going, get these clear cast regrowths out for the cleave healing. I shouldn't be standing over there, should I? Where's our demon hunter friend going? He's stepping all the way over there, kind of leaving that circle up ahead where we want to go later. It's kind of weird. I don't know. I haven't seen people position like that before but i guess they just wanted to keep the book clear because he saw that the boss was dying soon i have no idea but hey it worked out who cares we're working on the last boss here i'm gonna try my best to keep the tank very safe here because that tank buster is actually really rough especially for blood dks because they don't have any innate percent damage reduction they just kind of have to tank things with their face and hope for the best that they can you know restore their health quickly afterwards so yeah uh not much else i need to do here other than pump hps when the whatchamacallits well there's a roar i need to move pump hps when the crystals come out so we're just gonna chill until then i haven't used a single flourish this dungeon run but i guess i haven't felt the need to do so all right let's put out stumpy and lumpy steve doesn't seem to be necessary just yet this person needs to get cr'd here that crystal needs to die we good our friend has been cr'd tank needs to get some extra healing i guess we put out all three of the lumpy boys you know you know it's serious business when all three of the lumpy boys have to come out we need to get these life blooms back out we're going to use convoke that's going to get a bunch of spells out wild growth I should wild growth the boss. Maybe that'll help reach more targets. It did not. That's okay, though. We have the bloodlust rolling now. We good. The last set of crystals are coming out. Let's put these out in advance and start wild growth or regrowthing people. Should be good. Let's flourish now. I didn't have many rejuves out for that flourish, but I don't think it's a big deal. The crystals all died, so we're good. And dragon strike coming through. We're going to just dispel the tank and now ping her to talk to her. I'm ready. That'll put us back at the entrance and we can get started i'm gonna give us movement speed once all of us are here life bloom the tank regrowth the tank rejuve the tank it's gonna activate these bad boys oh please don't kill me okay i'm gonna just shadow out i don't care and put, put big shield on the tank put big heals out all three of these guys out and let's go convoke in cat form to do some dps the lumpy boys can take care of this i'm going to go ahead and knock back on the next cast do we need to will i need to i'm gonna knock back then it'll group them back up because i have the um ursula's vortex right underneath them and there we go that's percent that's the dungeon done not bad a two star plus five with a tank that used dancing rune weapon i think twice during the entire dungeon <laughs> I think that's kind of okay. <laughs> I'm just shit talking this poor guy the entire time. Let me take a look. Maybe, maybe. Dancing rune weapon. Dan dan dancing rune weapon. Yeah, dancing rune weapon. Eight applications. I lied. They used it eight times. I just didn't see it. That's a very, very low amount of times, by the way. But still, it's like they used it more often than I thought they used it. Oh, and there's champion shoulders. Do you need those shoulders? Do you need the neck, DK? Hold on. Oh, they don't need the shoulders. I get some free upgrades. Oh, the DK does need the neck. That's okay. Thank you, Bead Hunter. See you around. That was nice. That was nice. That was a fun run because I finally felt like I knew how to deal with the AoE damage that was coming out. I feel like it would have been even more fun if it was tyrannical because then I would get really tested on the on the big AoE damage from the bosses. But I guess there was some AoE damage coming in in the forms of those bestial roars or whatever, bestial shouts or whatever, from the last three like breaker mobs or the last two mobs before the third bot, whatever. Ever. you know the guys that shout and charge at people those guys they do good aoe damage on fortified so that was fun to test out and see how i do on that i feel like i did okay nobody really died we i think we had a couple of deaths from people standing in swirlies uh and and orbs at the last boss uh second boss two people died to swirlies uh, last boss somebody died to standing in an orb but yeah overall i'm pretty happy with that let's see halls of infusion have i done halls of infusion this week i have not done halls of infusion this week let's get that done at a plus five i'd be happy to do that drop the key twice and uh, I'll get a group going. Oh, we have an augmentation of ogre. That could be pretty nice, I think. 502 and I've only done twos. That's kind of cool. Yeah, let's, let's grab them. We could use the bloodlust that they have. We could also use all the buffs that they have, obviously. If they use a lot of CC, that'll be great too. 497 blood DK and a 510 balanced druid. You know what? Why not? Let's just take them. Let's just go full caster. Let's grab this uh, demon, uh, 
this destruction warlock, not demonology warlock. Yeah, if they choose to join us. Yes. Well, we got the squad together. We're going to summon them in and uh, get started. Here we go with a plus five halls of infusion. Is it plus five? Please tell me it's plus five. Okay, I did lower the key. Jesus. Um, yeah, plus five balls of infusion on four to five with, uh, what's this thing called? Volcanic. Oh my goodness, my friend. You need, you need, you need to use a death strike. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> oh my God. Man was, uh, man was fooling around. I didn't appreciate him fooling around like that. Mm -mm. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get that life flu back up on him. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna need my friend my my help here. I think uh, What is it with blood decays, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not a me problem. Maybe it's a blood DK problem. Okay. I'm saying this because in my previous series, I failed to get my DK to 3k because I just, I just wasn't having fun. I felt like I was not doing well, but it turns out maybe it's just the, the, you know, the class itself struggling a bit or the spec, I should say. I'm probably, we're probably going to be taking these guys over to the side over there. We got an interrupt on that. We're going to knock these over to it. Uh, I've been life blooming the wrong person. Let's just get that life bloom over to this person. Let's put out a couple of these boys, get a regrowth out, hot up the shit out of the tank. Let's get into our own efflorescence just to be safe and get some extra healing in there. Sweet Jesus. Okay. Yeah, this... <laughs> I don't know. I Maybe I'm just overhealing the blood decays, but I'd rather overheal the blood decay than have our tank, you know, e eat the freaking concrete and just kind of sit there and be left without a tank and die and wipe and horrible things happening. Anyway, life looms out and about. Rejuve on the tank as well. Give him scenario and ward all the time. I'm gonna go kitty cat form and use our convoke. Don't think I need to do really any he special healing here. Knock up coming in from what I would assume is the evoker. Beautiful. People are in interrupting everything let's just get some healing out now because it does look like the beams are starting to beam us all down okay we're good could have stayed in cat form and just sent out the trees that's what i needed to do yeah i need to get these cat form talents back i feel like i'm, I'm kind of ready to go in cat form we'll see actually how i handle the uh the moment where we, we run into the big old nasty dragons let's roar here to interrupt those big sources of damage we good now we good i think we're good i hope we're good hopefully none of these people oh people are getting goomba stomped can't be getting goomba stomp like that peeps you you're better than that i believe you are better than that i believe you can do better than that Moralizing shout is <laughs> just gonna go through we have three interrupts available nobody using it but that's okay we need more interrupts for this next section where we have the apparatuses the apparatuses roar jesus christ guys come on kick the apparatus knocking i cannot let those apparatuses cast if they cast the entire group's just gonna fall over oh gurak everybody <laughs> Come on, kick the expulse. I panicked. I used stuff, but it's just it's just weird, man. Please kick expulse. Why are people not kicking expulse? People are just not kicking expulse. We're double pulling or triple pulling and people aren't no double pulling, I think. And people aren't kicking expulse. One kick came through. No, that's not overall. Hold on. Okay. So the there are kicks going through, but just not enough. We have four orbs in this pull if we pull everything, if we double pull, and we didn't kick stuff. I think only I roared the first one and I think I knocked the second and then after that nobody used their interrupts which is weird and I don't like that I don't like that one bit and I needed to repair before I got into this dungeon I think but no oh well. well we'll hopefully not die much more big heals big defensive person gets instantly Goomba stomped roar because we're not kicking that I don't I don't know what to do here I'm scared hold me I need an adult <laughs> this is not good not good at all the one person who actually does kicks is not here the tank is struggling we're gonna give him iron bark and hope for the best here i don't have roar so i'm gonna oh we actually interrupted holy crap we did an interrupt peeps we 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 wilding out here we're gonna knock that because i don't trust that there's gonna be another interrupt in this group okay okay because the person who interrupts most regularly was the um what's what's this guy's Freaking the evoker. Jesus Christ, I'm so flustered because I'm stressed out because nobody's kicking the expulses. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, we got this. We got this. Do I need to roar? I don't need to roar. That's like, that's that's the game mode now. Do we roar or do we not roar? Uh, we roar. Okay, we roared. We roared for safety. Let's hot up the tank. Why does my weak aura just doesn't work for that? I think. I think that weak aura is just busted. We're going to knock this. There's no more. There's one apparatus left. Hopefully somebody interrupts it because I just used my knockback to prevent some casts there. Okay. It looks like we're good now. 
It looks like we're good now. Jesus, this is uh, big stressy, man. Big stressy. And those expulses, if they go through on Fortified, you're just you're just not gonna have a good time. You are not going to have a good time. So please, if you're in a run, focus on the expulses. The demoralizing shouts, yeah, it's annoying to do less damage. You know what's even more annoying? Wiping. So kick the expulses if you kick anything. If you don't kick anything, well, then you're either playing a holy priest, a resto joy that doesn't inspect into the interrupt because it's in a stupid spot, or you're slacking. Quit slacking. You gotta get those out. All right. There's like no damage coming through from this, but in P2, I have a f the expectation that there's going to be quite a bit of damage. So yeah, let's just, you know, try and handle that in P2. I'm not too worried. I'm far enough away. I'm just gonna dispel this off myself and move back. Tank stood in that, so I don't have a dispel for him. It's not exactly great. And now I can dispel him. Okay, big heals. People are getting hit by stuff. Ah, uh, goodness. We're just gonna get rid of that. I'm getting hit by stuff. How am I getting hit by stuff? I'm gonna roar that. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe like contribute to the DPS. We're gonna get the 20 stacks on a five key on fortified. Not a huge fan of that. The next uh, AOE is gonna hurt like hell. Okay. Standing behind the tank, that's my bad. Gonna give myself the big shield, consume this into an AoE wild growth thingy. I did that so poorly, like getting caught there was so stupid. I'm going to give this, oh, the other guy did the movement speed thing. I'm so blessed, please help me. All right, I'm just trying to give them rejuves. Don't want to get caught in any of these sparks. That would hurt a lot, it wouldn't be good. Get these life blooms refreshed, that will make them bloom. When you refresh them when they're super low, that actually makes it bloom, so it's it's quite good. Give another one of these, hopefully we get a path of frost. Do we get a path of frost? No, we don't get a path of frost. We get to just, oh, we did get a path of frost. Sick, dude, sick. Big utility, big utility. Nice, okay, not too shabby at all. Okay, here we gotta look for the shock troopers to interrupt them i'm gonna use all my cooldowns on them if i have to okay we got a beam out at the perfect time we interrupted both of them we are a gucci we are just fine this is perfect i'm fine with this this is fine good yes very good my job's to keep the group alive not to do big damn that's why i'm doing basically no damage this run and i don't care about not doing damage i care about finishing the dungeon i don't need to have great looking stats we're just gonna roar okay i would have interrupted the first one but luckily the second one started casting right on time for me to interrupt him and not look like an idiot that, that works that works we're gonna put the ground heal thingy circle here efflorescence that's the one okay tank is using some cooldowns very good i can dispel these i'm just gonna hot people up that have them that should be enough yes no maybe so yeah that's enough we seem to have killed the froggies pretty quick we're gonna roar these because i don't want the tank to get dazzled <sighs> tank come on Come on. Not tank. Actually, the tank used his interrupt there on something. I'm not sure what, but he used it on something. I don't know. I'm just a little flustered because there's so many casts that are going through that, that really need to be interrupted. And I don't know what you're even kicking here. Two demoralizing shouts. Expulses are being focused. That's good. A dazzle. Solar Beam got the expulse and one of these probably got that along the way. Yeah, anyway, we're kicking stuff, but it just feels like we're not kicking enough. That's that's just... Maybe I'm just extra flustered about the kicks because of uh, the... What are they called? I'm going to put the yoink back on the froggies there we go my guy please do something roar okay roar didn't really work wasn't in range i'm being focused by one of the froggies i'm gonna try and keep it like in range of people i don't know how to help you my friend you have multiple cooldowns available you need to use them instead of just standing there and getting punched in the face okay let's dispel the tank so people don't get punched i don't i'm so flustered you can see that i'm not even using the correct spells right now because i'm just so stressed out because the tank is sitting on all these cooldowns and dying uh maybe Again, maybe I'm just too stressed about blood DKs. Maybe I shouldn't let blood DKs tank for me. <laughs> but we're, we're good. We're good. This is fine. This is fine. We're going to jump onto the DK looking for the casts that are going to come out here inevitably. Okay, no casts so far. So far, so good. No casts. Should be coming in soon, it looks like. So I can roar them. The roar comes out. The group handled that really well. The uh, balanced druid dropped a beam down and it seems to, seems to have handled most things. Beautiful. I mean, just beautiful. Tank's going to need big heals here. So we're going to try and keep them alive by any means necessary. We're going to remove that root from them so they can move immediately. Okay, tank. Jeez. Jesus Christ, the tank, please. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. No, maybe, again, DKs just take a lot of damage. Maybe this is normal. Maybe his bounciness is perfectly normal. Maybe I'm stressing out for no reason. I keep saying that, but then I keep stressing out. I'm going to relocate this. We're going to go cat form. We're going to use this thing, and then 
rooted. Oh man, come on. I can just get out of that. It's fine. You can get out of it even if you sit in the full root. It's not a big deal. Let's get life bloom back on the tank. We have tree time. It's tree time. Get your tree out. Rejuve. Yeah, I think that's fine. People are kicking at least the cauterize. I don't care about the other casts. We could just heal through the other ta tasks. Tasks? Has casts? Whatever. Dude, I can't even speak. I'm just woosa. 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 Easy, take it easy. You're fine. Nobody's dying. It's just the expulses. The expulses ruined your mood at the start of the dungeon. And now you're trying to recover. You're trying to find that peaceful inner zone. You're trying to get in the zone. I just pulled for the tank like a douchebag. It's it's fine. This is fine. You're you're safe. The expulses are gone. Now all you have to do is worry about absolutely everything else. That's all you gotta do. You just gotta take care of every other possible thing that's going to bother you guys. I would love it if those guys got eaten. They didn't get eaten. That's okay. Tank's sitting in five stacks. So we're just gonna dispel the tank. The swaglet we're going to kill. It looks like, yes. Let's just get some regrowths out. Some big cleaves from the regrowths. That's fine. We have clear casting for days here, it looks like. Okay, that person got away. I'm going to stand on top of the boss here. So when the circle comes down, and if it comes down on top of me, it'll be easy to keep the frogs right there. It's regrowth. Not myself. I will get regrowth hot, even if other stuff happens. Let's flourish and send out the Healy boys. We're good. Okay, I didn't mean to knock back there. That wasn't me, though. There we go. That's so, so chaotic. So chaotic. I'm just so lost because the tank's not moving across the room, which is something I would do. I would move across the room. I'm just going to use my convoke here because I think I have some time before the next crap happens. All right, let's get these out. Regrowths. Regrowths keep us safe. Regrowths are good, beautiful. Love regrowths. Regrowths are my favorite genre. Let's remove this dot from Warlock. Warlock's got quite a few of those on him. I'm not using the Healy boys as much as I should. And boss is almost dead. Okay. Th this on fortified would have on tyrannical would have been a lot worse but we managed to make it work no i'm just flustered because i'm used to the tank point of view here and the tank point of view here is move across the room after the first well for the second croak move across the room all right here i will have to do a lot of aoe healing and i'm also have to gonna have to do a lot of healing on the tank let's get those regrows out uh, give this person a big old shield. Oh, did we seriously double pull? Pretty sad. I think that was accidental. I think the think tank wanted to... Bro, just please, God, reset. I cannot heal two of these. When the double deep chill comes out again, we're going to be screwed because I don't know how to heal two deep chills. I'm going to cleanse myself. I'm going to... What, what, what do I... Like I said, reset. What, what do I do? What the hell is this about? Like, what is the point of this? Again, when the deep chills come out, we're just going to die. I can't I can't keep them alive <laughs> I can't keep you alive tank I can't even keep myself alive let me remove that dot let me try and heal this person up I'm just trying my best here flourish I, d I don't know maybe that'll do it oh my god yeah no this is so stupid this is beyond stupid we could have just reset and done it one dragon at a time but no we have to go through multiple double deep chills to survive this dude I don't I don't know how to handle this uh i don't even know where to where to stand How, what do i do here what do i do what do <laughs> help i need an adult again <laughs> send your adultiest adult this is not for the faint of heart oh man and i didn't wild growth a single time jesus you moron you could have wild growth that would have helped probably i don't know whatever man that was so so unnecessarily stupid like that was blindingly stupid just reset what is the point of keeping whatever 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 i'm done the salt is gone. That's the salt leaving my body. No, it's not. Let's be real. I'm going to continue being salty here because <laughs> I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I don't want to be stressed out. Okay, this is fine now. This is fine. We're going to interrupt this thunder strike with a roar. That's fine. Get these life blooms back out. Okay, DK just doing DK things, dropping to like no HP and back in the same frame. Do I bother healing them? Is there a point in healing them and trying to heal them? I, I don't think so, no. I'm better off just DPSing a tiny little bit. Let's hope for the best here. Now I'm going to reapply these and boom and cleanse and oh sweet Jesus and consume this and get knocked up by the stupid volcanic that I'm not even paying attention to because I'm just looking at other things. Okay, we good? This is fine. This is fine. I'm fine. This is fine? Are you fine? I'm fine. I'm not even worried. Totally not worried at all. I'm fine. Jesus Christ. 
Sorry, this is just you watching me be stressed because first we didn't interrupt the what are they called the expulses. Then we didn't uh, freaking what didn't we do then? We did we double grouped the deep two dragons with the deep chill bullshit. Man, I don't know. Whatever. I ain't feeling this run. <laughs> Let's do some chill healing here. This should be easy. Send one of these guys out at a time. There's the thingy. Hopefully nobody gets hit by it. We good. I'm just gonna start hiding right away. Put this down. Cleanse the tank. We apply the life bloom. Regross out. Did my guy just stand behind like a broken pillar and like just just ignore the fact that it's broken? That's OP. Okay. Do I? Yeah, we have three CRs available effectively. I'm going to move over so I don't stand. These people are standing in bad spots. Why? Because that tornado is just going to break or one of our crystals. But luckily, this crystal is safe. Uh, if this guy dies again to standing and shit, I'm not going to save him. He's standing behind bad shit again. We're going to give him a big old shield. Hopefully that. Oh no! <laughs> Sorry, those were not human sounds. <laughs> I just panicked, okay? Oh, I accepted the res right at the worst possible time. Anyway, let's... <laughs> <laughs> Please, Jesus Christ. Save me, save me from this run. Save me from this run. At least, at least, you know... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no at least it all sucks i'm bad this is bad i'm having a bad time oh no okay charge the tank i can't even charge i can't they're too close it's wild growth after using that uh, by that i mean whatever the heck let's give movement speed to everyone after by that i mean uh swiftman because swiftman buffs your next rejuve or regrowth or wild growth so if you use any of those they will heal extra oh jesus that was that was rough I didn't need to. I didn't need to die there. I just thought I was standing in the safe spot. I was not, apparently. Where does that where does that heal go? Did you see that? Like it it am I stupid? No, they're still affected by Scenarian Ward. Why why is it not showing me? I swear if I die here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Okay, good. I had the shield available, so I'm good. I'm just looking at random shit and trying to commentate instead of actually focusing on the gameplay. And that's that's been costing me my life. It's been costing me my life a few times. Oh man, this is this is rough. It's been it's been rough. I think I'm mostly just stressed out because of the blood decay HP, like yo-yoing a whole bunch. But uh I don't know. I feel like I wasn't that bad okay we're dragging this across okay let's just oh sweet jesus okay wild growth first i'm gonna wild growth first try to keep the tank alive sweet jesus oh my goodness this is rough this is really rough i had somebody interrupt that heal or don't screw it don't interrupt the heal whatever i'm gonna rejuve everyone deep chill is gonna come through soon in like five seconds let's try to reapply all these hots we're gonna flourish wild growth the tank consume this not wild growth regrowth the tank whatever who cares maybe i shouldn't use that on the dk but we're fine this is fine i'm fine this uh, it's not even stressed not even a little bit this time i actually had time to prep for it and i didn't get double dragon to death <laughs> maybe this tank was like dude this healer is healing so well let's do double dragon pull to be honest i think what happened was uh, an accidental pull because the patrol that is at the first um at the first dragon it patrols all the way to the second dragon and then if you tried to hit them when they're right next to the second dragon they will pull the second dragon with themselves so like what can happen is you can accidentally end up pulling the second dragon when you didn't even mean to so that's you know what are we oh that in and Big shield. Ah, that big shield save. Big shield save. Ay, 400 IQ. Move. Okay, I don't want to get knocked back by that and die. Probably going to die from just the damage from it anyway, so. Okay. Okay. We good? We good? Slowly but surely, I'll heal everything up. This is also a nasty one to heal, I gotta admit. Let's dot her up. Let's hot up the tank. We have time to recover. I just need to make sure everyone gets the full HP before the next uh, next one hits, right? That's all I need to do. I'm doing surprisingly well on the mana front for what doing what feels like basically spamming the bejesus out of uh, all of my abilities. Regrowth spam really is the big thing. Flash Flood. I'm okay. Just get those instant regrowths out. Yeah, that was actually surprisingly smooth. Like... Oh, thank you for moving me. I appreciate that. Thank you, Evoker. <laughs> Just got yoinked over. Maybe they think I'm slow or something. I don't know. Whew. I feel like I'm doing okay. Like, for, for how stressed I am about this Halls <laughs> of Infusion, I feel like I'm doing a decent job. Now, here, I think I'm going to need to give the tank some extra loving because he's going to get punched in the face. When that, like, intermission thing comes through, it's going to be... Length intermission, sorry. The, the knockback thing comes through. Dude, stand still so I can actually, like, do my infused globules 
run around with you thing. Jesus. Cleanse that so you can get away from things. You need big heals. Give you big shields so you can survive. Life bloom. I had to, like, there was a situation with the, the, with the warlock. So I had to react to that situation. Warlock, stop standing in things. Only I get to stand in things in my videos. Come on. Get with the program. All right, who is it? It is the rescuer, my rescuer, uh, the evoker that rescued me just a second ago. That's that's who it is. That's with me. I was looking who it was with me to see if we can potentially, you know, there we go. There's the rescue. Big, 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 big. Do we get a sleepwalk? I'm going to dot up all of these guys. I'm getting punched in the face here. That's that's good. We're stunning them. OK, do I roar? I'm going to have to roar here and roar. How did? Oh, there's another one that's out. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. Just, just let's just interrupt all of them and interrupt and then not stop any of the casts. Sure, why not? Whatever. I'm being salty at this point. It doesn't matter too much. I'm going to try and get on top of the tank. Let's get some rejuvenations out. I know I should be regrowing instead of rejuvenating, but it's whatever. Tempest Fury is going out, so let's start casting those regrowths. Big infused globules tank has somewhere to stand. We're going to give big shield. To the tank tank is moving away so somebody's pet just got punched i'll tell you that much I'm just trying to keep the tank nice and safe here because the tank's the big damage in taker here for the what what the hell am i even saying he's getting the beam thing he's being hit by the beam so he's gonna take a lot of damage that's what i'm trying to say but failing to do should have had those life blooms up sooner okay boss is almost dead we're, we're good we're just gonna do this oh tank please don't die on me now that was such a shit show but at least it's over now jesus get me out i, I don't know there was i feel like i didn't finish a single sentence this entire run <laughs> <laughs> that's how i feel because there was constantly just something just happening but hey you know let's see how many times this dk uses cooldowns okay vampiric blood was used 59 times but i think that's from the tier set mostly because it's only 20 percent so they weren't using it on cooldown that's for sure dancing rune weapon 15 times it's almost twice as many as the first dk but not as many as they should have thank you for the run that was excruciating to heal i think i just got flustered because i don't know in general when i commentate i can get f very very flustered because something bad happens and then I focus on it super, super hard. Like the expulses not being interrupted. My brain is like 30% stuck on talking about that for the rest of the dungeon, basically. So what little bandwidth I have in my puny, tiny brain just goes like, oh, expulses are not being interrupted. But realistically, the rest of the run was pretty okay. Like everything else was being handled fine. I was healing enough to keep everyone alive. Everything was fine. And then the double deep chill happened and then my brain brain is completely preoccupied by that trying to calm down after that bullshit uh and and then just kept me flustered through the rest of the dungeon if i had just shut up and like been doing this on a normal like if i wasn't recording if i wasn't commentating i would have gone through that run without being stressed most likely i would have been stressed from the double like the double deep chill i'd probably be annoyed as well but i wouldn't be like i wouldn't be this worked up but com having to commentate having to keep that stream of consciousness going that really like it really throws me off balance even more but hey, that's that's what the videos are all about. You know, me not shutting the hell up from start to finish. All right, we get the free upgrades on our uh, shoulder piece, right? Huh? What is this? It's shoulder armor and this is shoulder armor. This has four out of eight. Oh, I need to equip it so that it's actually bound to me and then I can get the free upgrades. Yeah, there you go. Now they're free. They don't cost. Well, they cost flight stones, but I don't care about flight stones. It's the crests that I'm worried about. Speaking of which, do we have Drake crests? We have zero Drake crests. That's cool. Yeah, but we have a lot of Welpling crests. Can we actually buy Drake crests with Welpling crests? Yes, yes, we can. No, no, we can't. I lied. That's I can trade it down but i can't trade up that is really bad that's annoying because i don't need well there maybe there's things that i can upgrade with wobbling quests and that's why it's not letting me yeah see these i can upgrade with wobbling quests let's just upgrade everything we can with wobbling quests that seems to be about it ah maybe these legs and stuff maybe those don't maybe they're not letting me buy that because of them hold on no i still can't whatever i'm not 100 sure how it works i do have these crafted items that i probably need to replace with some epic items or whatever these are also epic items but you know what i mean I need to replace them with them champion tier items and then I will probably be able to buy Drake crests with with Welpling crests. I'm not sure. I have a lot of Welpling crests, so that would work out in my favor decently well. Um maybe if I log out and log back in, let's check that real quick. And log back in. Logging in in Valdraken is never a good idea, especially when you have as many weak cards as I do, but that worked out pretty quick. Um maybe now I can do it. Maybe 
There we go. The vendors have loaded in. They load in after everything else. Now I can't do it yet. There's 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 a way that it works where at a certain breakpoint in gear, you are allowed to buy dra like the next crest. So with Welpling Crest, you can buy Drake Crest. With Drake Crest, you can buy Worm Crest. I'm not sure what that breakpoint is, but it's definitely while the, the crests are still useful because otherwise it would be kind of pointless. But basically, yeah, I'm going to try and spend some Welpling Crests on the Drake Crests when I'm able to because I have zero Drake Crests and I can't be bothered doing M0s or doing what are they called normal raids to get this i don't enjoy raiding especially not on a resto droid it's just not it ain't it that ain't it i do like progression raiding with like a guild and stuff it's it's a completely different vibe but i don't like uh i can't say i enjoy pugging like normal raids and heroic raids it just feels it takes so long and it's just a it's a miserable experience because people are so elitist and and they expect you to have ridiculous item levels and to perform i don't know how well but they themselves are usually under geared and not performing well and don't know the tactics and it's just it's always a cluster cluck and putting a group together takes forever. So yeah, anyway, that's a little rant on the side. I think before I do the next dungeon, which is going to be Uldaman Legacy of Tyr, I, I haven't done Uldaman at all on this character. That would be cool. Let's do Uldaman. I'm going to drop it down to a five because Lord knows I will need worm crests anyway. So I may as well be doing the easier keys. Um, But yeah, before we do Uldaman, I'm going to go ahead and actually spend some of these worm crests to, to uh, some of these worm crests to craft things. I think I can craft three items. Yeah, I can craft three items and then I'll have two crests left over, which is perfect but yeah, i'm gonna craft three items probably mm, boots cloak neck i don't know i know that i use the elemental lariat that's what i've seen and i think another thing is just like you you choose what item you're gonna put it into the verdant something i'll grab that i'll probably put into my boots and then i will do maybe i shouldn't do legs legs give the give a lot of stats yeah maybe legs i'll see i don't know i'm gonna craft some stuff and then we're gonna continue with the ultimate legacy of tier plus five we also do have uh we do have some antique bronze bullion and maybe i can spend on something although i have no idea what i would spend them on maybe an offhand i don't know we'll see all right so we crafted ourselves the lifebound boots with the verdant that other we crafted what was it the cloak just straight up a cloak no no embellishments and we did the elemental lariat because the guide that i looked at told me to get the lariat so i got the lariat and now we have the lariat i didn't craft the legs even though it might be good to craft the legs because maybe i get a tier piece hero piece or something for the legs or when i get my 2k token maybe i use that for that speaking of which how close are we to 2k not even a little bit okay 1.5k ratings not bad though anyway we had what was it old legacy of tier plus five so let's try and put a group together for that dungeon start group plus five and list group there we go we're now sitting at 499 item level we have two embellishments i'm feeling pretty comfortable with this character for fives i feel like i can comfortably do them gear wise skill wise there's still a lot of things i keep like just neglecting i don't use the lumpy boys enough i don't use convoke enough for it being a one minute cooldown i should get a bunch of uses out of it but it really only feels particularly useful for dps to be honest so maybe i should just switch to the tree i'm not sure but i have a feeling i wouldn't use that either in the ursi series with my mist weaver monk in season three i was notorious for just basically never using uh what's it called gg even though it's a one minute cooldown like i basically could have used it almost every poll and i never used it almost never used it which is it's ridiculous to think about but i got better as the series went on about using it but I'm, i've got the basics down i think i got the life bloom up time i got the whatchamacallit that's the keep the tanks alive thing down down. I know how to do a little ramp when the AoE damage comes out. In general, I just feel like as long as I'm focused and actually prepare a little bit for the incoming damage, I can have things go pretty damn smoothly. I am suffering a little bit of a debuff here in real life, which is a food coma. I just I just had some food and I am I am heavy i had some chavapi if you know what those are if you're from the balkan you know what chavapi are it was it was really good it was hella greasy just how I like it the chavapi too. I'll polish some of that off with some Pepsi Max. There we go. A nice healthy diet for the gamer. Nobody wants to do Uldaman. We put together a group for like Azure Vault and stuff pretty quickly. Halls of Infusion too, but for Uldaman, nobody's interested. It could be because I don't have a key at all. Okay, 508, 527 Hunter. I mean, if I take this group, we're just going to shit stomp this key. I don't know. I'll give it a wait. These guys are probably going to find a different key to run anyway. It doesn't matter. But yeah, if I take this group, they're just going to shit stomp it. I, I would feel bad. Although I could use an easy key after what the first two keys have been you know what i'm gonna treat myself never mind i'm not treating shit the game knew the game knew it's like that's not a challenge you just let the hunter one shot everything well yeah 
I deserve a fun run too. I'm kidding. The first two runs were fun as well. I got a little flustered in the second run twice because of like shit going on, but we mostly survived everything. We did get in quite a few deaths in this in the second instance of shit going down, but hey, this group looks really good. I mean, they're kind of overgeared for a five, but like I said, I deserve a nice run too. So let's let's take this group. Now watch them suck. Watch them really, really suck. I hope not. I hope not. I really hope not. And we'll take Harry Daughter. Just to balance it out, the lowest item level. Actually, no, this paladin's the lowest item level that is applied. So let's take the, this paladin just to balance things out. Yeah, cool. So we got the group ready, and we're gonna we're gonna go blast a plus five Uldaman. And here we go with an LUA error. What the heck? Leave me alone. Whatever. We're just gonna leave details alone. There's something. Oh no, I'm getting a lot of errors. <laughs> oh no. Anyway, let's uh, well, let's give them a movement speed buff. The details just threw me off balance here. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. I got this. This is fine. Let me just let me just find my bearings here. I got this. We good. We good. This group just annihilated this first pull. We could have pulled bigger than that, pulled bigger than that, I think, but uh I'll take it, you know. Slow and steady wins the race sometimes, <laughs> not always. Uh we're going to roar that. Never mind. People are kicking. They they they're kicking abilities? What? Unheard of. What is this? This kick? What is kick? How, what, what do kick? Anyway, I'm just being, being salty because my previous groups, I'm stuck behind the freaking. let me just, let me get up there. What the hell? <laughs> Sorry. I'm so flustered. The start of this run has been such a shit show. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm salty because my previous runs, uh, we had a bunch of people that didn't really kick. We're going to knock this. I don't need that chain lightning coming through. All right. We have roar for the next chain lightning that I see, but people are kicking. So I'm not too worried about it. There's a chain lightning. We see it. We react to it. This rogue is going to need some Jesus. We're going to give him these. We're gonna roar to interrupt that chain lightning behind us. Then we're gonna put life bloom back up on the tank. Let's put some of these guys out. And there we go. Oh, my friend, you you are a line of sighting me. There you go. Now you got healed. Where the hell are you, bro? I just walked into a stun trying to get back into line of sight of this mage. This pull is such a shit show. I don't think this pull was planned. I think we accidentally pulled some shit in the back, but that's okay. We're managing to do it just fine. Okay. Uh, we're doing these guys first, probably with bloodlust. I would prefer to do Bromac first with bloodlust, but it is fortified, so it doesn't matter as much. Tank is positioning randomly in the center of the room. Eric is just free casting at everyone, so that's always wonderful to see. We should be stacking on Eric, ideally, and the tank should be doing that instead of just standing in the middle of the room away from Eric, because Eric is a turret. He will keep throwing his daggers at people, and he won't actually ever move unless he is line of sighted. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Um, a little bit, uh, a little bit spicy, but people are melting this, so, you know, they might not be the best players, but they've got the freaking gear for it so it's fine uh, i say the best players they're doing fine they're interrupting things the rogue has amassed five kicks already which is very impressive we've destroyed the the three dwarves maybe i should not have invited these overgeared people into the run it feels very very easy now we're not gonna stand in that nope that's a bad idea learn that the hard way <laughs> in general you don't usually want to stand in any swirlies but yeah we can give movement speed to everyone. I'm curious to see if the tank decides to pull, uh, what's it called? The Berserkers into the boss, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm going to try and stealth, maybe get some shredding in here, a bit of extra damage. I'll put one of the lumpy boys out just because I can. Not much damage is going to go through here until those those geoman that geomancer and the two big guys are coming in. All right, now we're going to hot up the tank real well because these guys really hurt. So when they put the, the little tank buster, it can be pretty nasty. He's going to chain lightning very soon. He's storm bolted at the moment. There's a stone spike. No chain lightning though. He's just, he's shy. He he can't perform in front of every, he's, he's flustered now, you know, like me, whenever the tank decides to pull 15 mobs more than he should. <laughs> We're gonna roar that. Okay, Paladin decided to stun it. That's that's perfectly fine. I'm just gonna kitty cat shred things. I don't care. Like I don't need to be healing here because the tank is just not his health bar is just not moving. This is where I feel like not uh, life blooming the tank might be the best choice. Like I could life bloom this Paladin who is the you know the the I'm not the weakest but like the squishiest person in the group. Tank is moving over to that guy. I think the tank tried to interrupt him. No, he didn't because his interrupt isn't on cooldown. But I am looking for the uh, what's it called the chain lightning which we're going to interrupt now let's actually try and get a wild growth out just for some aoe damage that totem lasted like no time so i didn't even even have to heal for it i'm just sitting here in kitty cat form so let's just use convoke for the first time since the start of the dungeon that's been four minutes ago almost five so i could have used it three to four times before now but oh well right now i'm just healing using the uh 
what are they called? Stumpy Lumpy and Steve? I don't even have efflorescence down. That's how little I'm doing right now. Get some life blooms out just so I can have some regrowth charges. Repositioning this. All right. As soon as I reposition it and the boss puts down the circle, but that's okay. We're going to go right back into it. Totem's coming down. We're going to move over to the totem with the efflorescence. We're going to go kitty cat form. We're going to put out Stumpy Lumpy and Steve for this AOE damage from the totem, but the totem's already gone. So I have nothing to really put it out for. Oh man. I'm, I'm wasting some combo points here, but it's not a big deal. Like my damage doesn't really matter. And he is dead. Uh, right. I almost started running back towards the dwarves because I'm so used to doing this as a tank where I will go dwarves first and then do this boss. Uh, no, go this first and then go dwarves. But uh, yeah, that is not what is happening here because we went dwarves first. The reason you would go Bromac first is because of uh, Bloodlust. You want to use Bloodlust on the harder boss if you can use it. And you want that harder boss to be first so you don't waste time. So you don't waste time without Sated, without using Bloodlust. Why am I taking so much damage? I don't know. I'm taking damage because I'm standing in front of the smaller custodians, the earthen custodians, which do a crap ton of damage with their cleave. So I shouldn't be standing right there. All right, Jagged Bite coming through tanks kind of just tanking it or is he stutter stepping it i can't exactly tell he's not being affected by the bleed there we go he got hit by one of the bleeds that's okay we're going to hot him up nice and well well he's really feeling that bleed on the fortified okay there we go we got him we got him through it all as well we're going to give people movement speed and head into the second boss no third boss i always think this is the second boss there's five bosses in this godforsaken dungeon getting ready okay the stomp will come out soon so i'm just going to start like pre-hotting people there we go. Rushing stomp. We should be fine though because I have a bunch of hots out. So we are A-OK. -okay. Earthen shard on me. I'm going to use a defensive and hot myself up. Get those life blooms back up. And we're good. Crushing stomp yet again. We're going to use the instant cast regrowth. I am very hotted up. So I am quite, quite safe here. Titanic empowerment interrupted by a storm bolt from the warrior because we wasted one of the orbs somehow. Not great. We're also reapplying some stuns here for some reason. I don't, I'm not sure why. We're just trying to keep the boss stunned for a little longer than we need to. There's going to be a bleed coming out soon. No, first crushing stomp. Let's just regrowth everyone up to full health. Okay, that was very easy, I guess, because it's fortified. He likes me a lot, so we're going to give ourselves big heals. Put one of the lumpy boys on us. Do everything we can. Uh, let's get those life blooms back out so that I get the AoE heal from that. And I get my clear casting stacks. Very nice. We're doing a lot of extra stuns that we don't need to do, but it's kind of working out because it's a fortified five. So the boss isn't getting too many stacks before the end of the fight. Warrior got a little bit turned around. Let's give him some movement speed. Let's see where he takes us to. How far are we going to go? I'm going to knock back when this Weaver does his Hail of Stone right now. There we go. Let's also interrupt this Hail of Stone. If I can interrupt the Hails of Stone, I'd much rather do that than have to heal through them. Because if I don't have to heal through them, I can actually just sit there and cast Starfire. Because Starfire feels like at least some kind of AoE damage. I don't know. With the Kitty Cat, I don't really do much because I don't have improved swipe. And I guess I don't have... Uh, the bleed either so like I said I need to go back to those talents but we'll, we'll make it work at some point I can't do anything here to interrupt actually I can't I have all my interrupts what am I talking about hails of stone or are they being interrupted I'm a little bit flustered here because there's like all these things are going off but none of them none of the casts of the enemies are actually going through okay it looks like we're good we're going to give big shield to Manny so he doesn't get bopped by a cleave or something and taken out okay that was very very smooth it looks like the group cc'd everything I didn't really see the CC going through. I think that's due to Quasi's Clater profile being a little bit different from the one I used to use for myself. So I'm not used to, to seeing CC the way I'm seeing it right now. Okay, Tank's gonna get some big heals here. We're gonna put down Efflorescence for once. I don't know, I've been slacking on the Efflorescence. Usually I'm much better about that. Big heals need to go out here for the group. I accidentally healed the wrong person there with that regrowth. That's okay. We are good though. We've got Tree of Life. We're just getting all the regrowths out. Free, well, they're not free regrowth casts. They're just uh, instant regrowth casts they do still cost mana i believe get the life blooms out sweet jesus okay we're good we're good we're gonna put uh, ursal's vortex down we're gonna step away we're gonna remove these poisons maybe i should just let them time out and now we can do some dps it looks like people took care of the seekers like little aoe sonic boom things and i'm getting knocked up while also being pounced on by the spiders. I did put down a vortex, but it seems like the spiders were all, all their jumps were on cooldown, so I didn't actually get any value out of the vortex. To give some movement speed to people, I did also use my human form wild charge to get closer to them to be able to do that movement speed buff. Let's get these life blooms back up. I'm going to dispel the rogue, I guess. I should dispel the paladin. The paladin, like I said, is the squishiest. Let's give him some of these. I want everyone to be nice and healthy. I gotta avoid these. We seem to be good. Get these life blooms back up. Rejuve 
orbs. Put that down. I'm very scared of these orbs that are traveling around at the speed of sound. <laughs> Okay, and let's put some, some some lumpy boys out. Where is the pallet I'm going to stand? I'm going to jump towards the tank. Tank can't make up his mind where he wants to stand. Where is the, the, the line? I can't see the line. Okay, the line was way behind us, so I was freaking out for no reason. I thought that it would actually be on this guy, but it's okay. We got him. Uh, tank is going to have to get rezzed. He tried to walk through the thing. I don't know. I'm trying to res him. He needs to take it fast. Move, my friend. Move. Here you go. Have some movement speed. It might help you. He, he kind of just <laughs> ran into the, the beam. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. He messed up, but that's okay. It happens to the best of us. Okay, let's get some of the tree ants out. We should be perfectly safe here. Dispel the paladin. And this guy is dead. We still have bloodlust available. We need to go in that direction. Paladin or warrior. I keep saying paladin, but it's a warrior. The tank is a warrior. We are grabbing these guys. Okay, warrior needs some healing. Jump to warrior and then roar. Okay. Okay, we're pulling a bunch. We need to... Ooh, this is going to be very, very bad. I'm going to give the mage this. I'm going to instant heal myself. I That was really, really bad, my guy, because... I, I had to heal people outside of... Okay, they, oh, that, that, that just didn't work out. That did not work out at all. I was not ready for this pull, but okay. Now, now we're ready, I guess. I wasn't... I didn't expect that. I'm just going to line of sight this and hope that the mage decides to do the same at some point. Nope, not none of that for the mage. I had to line of sight that because I couldn't out heal triple uh, weaver. Or was it double? Double hail of stone plus thunderclap. So I'm going to line of sight this thunderclap. I was going to, but it didn't really work out. Trying to line of sight this other one. One. This rogue needs some needs some needs some help. I don't have enough help for you, rogue. Use cloak of shadows or something. Jesus, okay. I think we're okay now because one of the golems is dead. That was that was rough. Maybe I could have interrupted those those uh, hails of stone and saved the mage earlier, but I just couldn't. I wasn't ready for this double pull. This double pull was crazy. Like you can do this, sure. The heck? Why did we pull this guy? We really don't need that percent. Whatever. I'm just I'm a little flustered because I'm used to my own pulls. You know, like I'm used to the pulls that I do when I tank. That they're not this. I'll tell you that right now. They, they ain't none of this. We're waiting for the circle from the guardian. There's the circle from the guardian let's get these life blooms out i'm worried about the uh these guys what are they called the custodians and their cleave i'm just putting out some rejuice to pre-hot i'm expecting damage to happen no damage is happening we're good okay uh we're not pulling the two golems i actually take all of this into the golems because they're not so scared we're gonna interrupt that curse because we don't need that curse going through let's use one of the stumpy boys and now we can just wrap the crap out of the guardian there's a weaver here i will knock him back when he does his hail of stone <laughs> i would love to knock him back but unfortunately our mage has decided that he wants to uh, freeze him right then and there. So we had to suffer through that. I don't know, my friends. This is this is rough. Use your defensives and good luck, everybody. Oh, those claps are coming through and we don't really have anywhere to line of sight. I'm going to roar this. Please kill this guy so we can actually survive. I'm just panicking and spamming keys. I'm going to give myself a big old shield here in a second for this one. And we're going to heal this person. Why are they line of they're line of sighting me, but they're line of sighting the stomp as well. So we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, I thought they were standing in front of these guys somehow while still line of sighting me, which would have been very irritating. But we got through this. Um, can I line of sight this over here? <laughs> nope. Okay, whatever, man. Half the shit doesn't line of sight them, so I don't, I don't know what to do. They should be tanked, not with the tank in the middle of here, but them being in the middle of here so we can line of sight behind these pillars. That's how you should do that, but uh, the tank was a little... Uh, yeah, it, it didn't position them that way, so we couldn't do that. A uh, hail of st curse of stone coming through, but it looks like people are interrupting and CCing. I'm going to put these guys out. Man, doing this on Fortified makes no sense. I'm going to roar these two. Never mind, somebody else did something. Okay, I, I should trust the guys to CC more. Okay, let's consume one of these and Wild Growth after the stomp. And, and Wild Growth, that should heal everyone up. I got Tree Form, so we can just spam or regrowths okay ah oh, these pulls are brutal man these pulls are brutal i feel like i'm doing okay i'm keeping people alive relatively well but i think that's only because it's a low key these pulls man it's rough it's rough the tank isn't positioning things close to pillars for the melee to be able to line of sight and then i don't line of sight either because i'm just staring at the health bars like a moron okay it looks like we're gonna go for double time reaver i'm not a huge fan of that i'm gonna tell you right now i'm gonna put this on the palette and i don't know why i'm so protective of the palette and i guess because he's the lowest item level 
so he's like bound to suffer the most from this. I'm gonna try and line of sight of these time reavers. Mm, I only have three stacks, so I don't need to really do that. I'm gonna put out the tree boys here. Okay, we should be fine. Let me reapply these. I'm going to dispel the paladin because he's got the most of those dots. Okay, wild growth as well. Yeah, we're good here. Put down this. This person's suffering. We're going to get rid of this. Life bloom on myself and the tank. And the big guys are dead, so we're good now. Okay, very nice. I don't have any sort of AoE on me or anything. No dots. We can just stealth and one run behind these. Everyone else can run around the other side. We're good on percent, so even though... I guess because we pulled the one guy after the double golem pull after the golem boss, we don't need to pull these whelplings, so all is good. Now, here's a real test. On Tyrannical, this is going to be very interesting because there's tank busters. There's big aoe group damage i'm going to step over here oh man yeah that that group damage that's what i was talking about reapply this on the tank try to get some rejuves out yeah there's not much damage coming through because it's only a five fortified but like on tyrannical i expect this to be rough okay we're gonna put iron bark on our friend manny here reapply our life blooms with the trees out give myself this okay i regrowth myself just because it was so low rewind time flow we're going to step into the zones reapply zone here Two regrowths going out, rejuve, wing buffet, consume this into a wild growth on the group. Put one of the trees out. That should be plenty. Keep everyone nice and safe, even through the dot. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's go kitty cat form, and and I guess I just rip and tear from here. Let's reapply life bloom, because I do like getting... Why is it telling me that I don't have it active on two people? What is going on here? It's telling me that I don't have active, but I, I do have active on two people. That was really weird. I got confused because my weak aura was lying to me, basically. Send breath on the tank. Tank's health bar is just not moving. He's overgeared. It's funny. Rewind time flow coming through. Let's get some rejuves out, I guess. This, this, and go into kitty cat form. There's a bit of haste here to grab. Chomp, and there we go. He's dead. That was the smoothest run so far, but purely because people had gear. And now I feel bad about inviting these geared people to the run because basically it was just a shit stomp and the entirety of the run wasn't done really well. It was just brute force the entire time. So, eh whatever but it was a very quick Uldamon. it was a 20 minute Uldamon. so i'm going to go ahead and do another dungeon i was planning on only doing three but i do have enough time to do a fourth and i'm going to do all the editing tomorrow so hopefully tomorrow vlad doesn't hate me for having four dungeons to edit <laughs> thank you for the run and i'm going to peace out it was a good run People played well. There's a bunch of interrupts. Mage was kind of slacking on the interrupts, but what tends to happen is like you got to interrupt your cast to interrupt. So you just let the melee handle it if the melee are handling it de decently well. But yeah, I feel like they could have gotten more in. But in general, I should say the interrupts have been really, really good. The one time where it felt like the interrupts didn't happen or rather the stop didn't happen was after Ember on that one pull that that just felt like absolute chaos. <laughs> Let's just grab this. It's worth the most gold. Screw it. And we'll put it to the... We'll give it to the vendor. That's not the vendor. That is the guardian. There you go, bud. Oh, and I have these. I never put those up on the auction house. Maybe it's good because they were like 400 something gold. Now they're 500 something gold. So it worked out by accident. There you go. Maybe I get a bit of gold. Most people have the... Uh, what's it called? The 100k perma rune now. So they don't bother buying these. But yeah. What key did we get? We got a ruby life pools. But I think I did a ruby life pools. Oh, I did a two ruby life pools. No, I did a five ruby life pulls this week i was like how did i do a two because the lowest key i did was a four i don't really want to do ruby life pulls i'm going to drop this key to a five and then re-roll it i'm going to try and apply it to something else and see if anyone will take me although people are kind of desperate for healers to be honest so maybe they'll take even someone like me uh so we have the neltharis we have algathar academy and we have brackenhide i love brackenhide i think i'm gonna go i'm gonna go for a brackenhide dude brackenhide's so much fun brack five to five let's see there's no groups for Brack 5 to 5. Hold on. Maybe because I didn't set this. Search again. No, there's really nothing for Brackenhide. 4 to 5. There's some 4s. Should we do a 4? Damn, there's really no Brackenhide keys. 3 to 6. Yeah, there's really no 5s. There's just the 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 4s that are available. Which <laughs> apparently Hunter Paladin is the meta spec for <laughs> Brackenhide or something. What the heck? I don't know. I guess we should do something else then. Maybe like an Algathar Academy. Or we could get Revenge on the Neltharis fortified Naltharis that we bricked. That was literally the first key I did on this character. I would really like a Brackenhide. I'm just going to do a Brackenhide 4. I'm just going to do a Brackenhide 4. Screw it. Um, we got quite a bit of rating from that Uldamon, having not done a single Uldamon so far, and it being the best key that we have done now is kind of funny. Oh, well, I'm not getting into this Brackenhide, so let's just try and join this one, I guess. All right, hold on. Let's see. Naltharis, 
Brackenhide and Algathar Academy. Those are the three ones that I need. Five to five. And let's give it a bit of time and hopefully we can get into a Brackenhide key. If not, we'll just join something else. Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> my dude got <I> forgot <laughs> I, knew, I knew nobody walked up to the key thing so i knew that nobody put the key in <laughs> i don't know what we're doing for the first pull we seem to be going towards left i'm going to put hots out and i'm going to jump to the tank and give them movement speed just because i want to make sure that they get the movement speed they need it is a uh mr weaver tank so i'm going to be dropping a bunch of uh, what are they called hots on them and I don't feel bad doing that. There's one Thaumaturge in the pull right now. It looks like, oh my. Yeah, I did, that wasn't me. Uh, I'm going to step away and shadow meld. Hopefully I don't get hit. Is this a reset? Are we going in? Okay, tank's back at it again. <laughs> oh no, this is not good. This is not good at all. Oh, where's the tank? Where's the tank? Save me. Save me from the nothing I've become. I'm trying to remove. Oh, we have we have a big boy in the group. This is this is not going to end well. This There's no chance this is ending well. I can't heal enough for this, I don't think. Oh no. Oh, tank's dead again. Oh, we should just reset. There's two there's a bunch of them just die reset stay dead i think we've done it yes okay that was <laughs> atrociously bad dude and i'm gonna be honest with you i joined this group because the tank was like 3.3k rated in one of the seasons previously let me see what was it main's current score is 3.3k rating and they just walked in here and just got absolutely pummeled to death i i don't know what hit them that killed them but it was it was rough they just dropped like a rock i'm gonna just keep them hotted up as much as i possibly can like my job here is to keep this tank alive so he can do his cc and crazy shit so he can keep us nice and safe i hope i'm th that's what i'm hoping for all right kitty cat foreman to convoke i think i'm safe here to do so tank can survive this surely on his lonesome as long as he doesn't stay than that volcanic guard we should be fine right man this is i'm not i'm not sure about this run well we were off to a bad start but let's see maybe we can recover maybe we can recover you know the morale took a hit for sure for that first pull but we'll, we'll see how it goes don't know where the tank really wants to stop okay he wants to stop over there i'm looking at the thaumaturge he's gonna cast soon we're gonna interrupt him with a roar there we go i don't care about anybody else's cc there's another thaumaturge coming in we're gonna knock this i don't care about not having the zone under Underneath them that'll pull them back in really don't care uh there's a patrol coming through are they gonna get cc'd nope we're gonna get a molten elemental because people are not kicking anything tank might go down we have a molten elemental active gonna give this guy a shield that'll keep him safe for the time being we're going to consume this on them and do big wild growth okay it's just the one elemental that one elemental died quick so we managed to survive people are not kicking the only the, the only the tank is kicking and i don't have a kick this is going to be like a running theme of the series until i get into like eights or something Thing where people might actually start kicking things hopefully but man come on just kick the molten core dude i only have so much cc i can interrupt it twice along with the tank doing it once or twice but it's just like we need people look at this look at this the mage tried to interrupt something we'll see if they actually succeeded yes the mage did interrupt look at that molten core molten core they're doing it but the rest of the group isn't why are we pulling double thaumaturge i think we're pulling double thaumaturge because there is actually no uh what's it called there's no uh, elementals here so they won't even bother casting. Okay, I need to knock that back so that I prevent that cast from going through because that actually really hurts. Like, that really, really hurts. We have elementals coming in, so they're going to start doing the thing soon. Nice big stun from the group and a knockback from the Ring of Peace. Thaumaturges are all gone, so we're just going to go ahead and pull these elementals. The elementals, they don't really do much. They're literally just there for the Thaumaturge to turn into big boys. Uh, so the ore elementals get turned into molten elementals when the Thaumaturge casts molten core at them. Again, you need to prevent that. You really need to prevent that. And it needs to be a group effort because the Thaumaturge will recast the, the Molten Core faster than anyone can get their single interrupt through. So it needs to either be someone with a lot of CC, like a Vengeance Demon Hunter, believe it or not, uh, or just uh, needs to be a group effort where everyone's looking out for it. And the tank, if it's a pre-made group with voice comms, the tank can, uh, whatchamacallit, just call out, or anyone can call out who does the interrupt. I'm going to knock that back because I don't trust that people are going to interrupt it because the tank's interrupt 
goes on cooldown. There's the stun coming in through from the warlock. I'm going to get targeted here, but it looks like they got CC'd by something, so I don't have to worry about it too much. They got knocked back by the hunt or the monks ring of peace, the bouncy castle of safety. We made it through this. Group seems to have recovered. I feel like I feel like we can do this now. I am a little bit worried about how I'm going to handle the damage from the hunters. The hunter damage is ridiculous um, because the hunters over there on that side of the dungeon, they just really, really hurt. Like they, they, they do a lot of damage. They'll jump on someone randomly. There's no way to know who they'll jump on. Usually it's ranged, I would assume. But yeah, we're gonna use this and this because there's really no damage coming through until he does the volatile eruption or volatile mutation. There's the charge. We're gonna give movement speed to people. Person got absolutely zapped by that and then he got mowed down. We're still at the start of the fight, so we're gonna use a CR for them. Yeah, you were paying attention. It's okay, no worries. Volatile mutation. We're going to regrowth here, get these lines. Life blooms back up, rejuves, another regrowth, and we should be fine. Easy mode. It's fortified, so it's really, really smooth. Blazing charge uh, seems to be on the tank, but it like I was, I guess, right behind the tank or something. Let's get these life blooms back up, and we're good. Okay, let's rebuff the mage real quick with our versatility buff, and we're gonna spam wrath. I could go kitty cat form here and just DPS like that, but that would require me to move, and I don't feel like moving. Okay, well, I should have prepped a bit more for this, but I think we're fine. Yeah, we seem to be fine. I'm never I'm not gonna CR this mage anymore. I kind of stood in that like an idiot, but I'm just like the mage is just... <laughs> I saw them take that hit and then it was like flustered a bit because I thought maybe I could save them if I gave them the shield fast enough, but it just, it, it wasn't happening. And release, go right. Yeah, I told them that they can release and go right because that's where we're going right from the start of the dungeon. You can see the mage over there. We're good. I kind of missed the drop off here, but it's okay. I have kitty cat form, so I take less fall damage. We're going to be in range to rebuff the mage soon. Where, where is the mage? I think the mage went out to repair. I'm not sure. They're spawned outside and locked out what the heck are you kidding me okay well i've got the bleed on me i've got two bleeds on me we're gonna go ahead and use this and by this i mean uh swift bend sorry i'm just i'm calling things this because i can't think of the the names of the abilities quickly enough my starfire went away with the hunter okay the mage seems to be back warrior got the bleed bleed is physical damage so the warrior's armor helps protect him mage seems to be back and in in the dungeon okay good 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 uh big thing on me give myself the scenario and ward that should be enough to keep me alive through the life with the life bloom and everything else and we can just do a bit of dps here very nice safe pull two hunters hurt like hell so i'm glad that that the tank only pulled those two my friend here got the uh what's what is that called the bleed from the hunter so we're gonna give them some hots hot up the tank before he heads off into battle okay what are we pulling give some movement speed so the tank can do his pull i failed to give him movement speed though let's give him another life bloom dispel that and we're going to use the chain here. I don't have a kick for that. I didn't hit Lahar with the chain, unfortunately. I thought I would, to be honest with you, but it didn't work out. Roaring here. Hank. Hank just can't take this damage. Like, he just straight up can't take this damage. I don't know if it's like a brewmaster issue or, or what. What is his item level? 504? It's, I don't know what to tell you. He just kind of fell over dead. I don't know if he still had his... Maybe my hots ran out and that was too much for him. But okay, he's already running back and we're going to do that pull again. This time without chains though, so maybe we pull further and more. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do here. Don't know how to, how to give the tank any more... Any more stuff? Maybe I need to really only pulling the birds. Can we pull more than just birds? I'm sure you can handle more than just birds. Maybe he was just waiting for people to pull. We already used that chain, so pulling to that chain doesn't really do anything. All right, let's just give the... I'm going to... Stealth. I'm going to roar. Okay, my guy stunned everything. That's good. I'm, I'm just very worried for the tank. I got all my hots on the tank right now. Okay, Lahar isn't here, so Lahar has a big tank buster from what I understand. So maybe Lahar was what gave our tank a uh, Lahar time. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I need help. Okay, we interrupted that. That's good. Tank seems to be holding it together. I'm just going to keep peppering them with little heals here. Like, I don't really care about my damage. I really don't care about my damage because it doesn't matter how much damage I do. It's going to be irrelevant compared to losing the tank and everyone dying, you know? Like, here I feel like I really do need to give the tank a lot of love and remove that. I don't even know what that effect is. I just want it gone, you know? Hunter's going to jump and do something. I'm going to just barks can pre- Yeah, I knew it. I felt it in my bones that he was going to put it on me, so I just... <laughs> 
I just used my uh, bark skin preventatively. Okay, I'm gonna target the hunter, do this. Hopefully somebody interrupts that mending play. We're going to just roar this and call it a day. Reapply some hots here. Our friend got that, so we're going to... Okay, that they healed. It seems to have run out quite quickly. I didn't know that the Hunter Bleed ran out that quick. All right, we're bouncing them for no reason. There was literally nothing being cast, so I'm not sure why we did that. Binding Spear coming down and moving out of it. Warrior is going to get a Life Bloom from me. Uh, Warlock got hit by that. We're going to regrowth into swift man and that did the trick that's for sure nobody's standing the spear so i'm not going to bother interrupting it i'm going to regrowth myself life bloom and life bloom the tank once i have them in line of sight again i can do this chain if we like if we group up on the chain i can do this chain can somebody get this bird off me get the hell away from me bird i'm going to root the bird maybe maybe somebody stops the bird from beating the crap out of me here soon all right we're going to jump to the tank and we're going to use the chain there we go put the zone underneath people oh man and the, the, this is rough. All right, Warlock getting targeted by that. Let's just rejuve these guys in advance. Warlock's getting a lot of love from the hunters, but we're good. We're good. We got them with the big heals, and everything is a okay. Look at that, 96% mana. I feel like I'm spending a lot of mana, but it looks like I'm just being very efficient because I'm getting a lot of clear cast stacks. So the the clear casts take care of the mana cost. I mean, that's sick. That's sick. All right, we have Bloodlust available. There we go. Okay. Well, we're going to use this and go do this and ba 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 bam big dam and then use convoke more big dam jump after them give this guy a couple of these and one of those and keep dpsing the boss while i still have I have a lot of time. Okay, we need to do this. They're not on me. I just need to focus on keeping everyone alive. That wasn't actually that much damage. As long as nobody actually steps into the swirlies, we should be fine here. Give this guy a big shield just because I can't hot him up fast enough. Okay, we, we did it. We did fine. Boss will probably be dead before this finishes, so I'm trying to get some kitty cat damage still while i have the extra physical damage very nice okay 66k dps not amazing but i don't have rips so i'm not gonna do as much kitty cat damage as possible just gonna put some rejuves out i guess why am i putting rejuves out there's nothing happening just dot up the boss and do your damn the warlock got a bunch of damage there so we're going to just put hots on them and then go back into kitty cat form and we're going to convoke to hopefully finish off the boss here before he does any more big damn all right life bloom on people okay we can leave leave life bloom on these two while they while they heal up just gonna give a big regrowth here and we should be fine okay and we're gonna life bloom the tank again i'm gonna jump towards the warrior so i can reach the tank regrowthing myself in a rejuve and a swift mend i'm gonna stay nice and safe here tank is not doing so but we good we good we got it now everything's under control this is fine we're fine everything's fine everything's being knocked back mage got a big old damage source here i'm just gonna hot them up just in case they you know take some more damage from like a bone toss or something see like right there that would have been a chunk of damage that they took directly to their health but my shield was up on them so we good would be lovely if they used their shield right now but you know you just, there's only so much you can ask from people all right let's put a lumpy boy out and he'll take care of most of this Whew. Okay, okay. I need to figure out how to use Flourish. I don't know when a good time to use Flourish is. Like, do I set up for that? What do, what do I do? All right, we're going to put big hots on the tank. Get that life bloom going back. Shield is being used. We're going to Flourish now. I'm going to go grab these birds, because otherwise we're going to have to fight the birds on their own. Put some trees out. Go into kitty cat form and do Convoke. Bite. Put that dot out. All right, I guess I put a hot out, because I was mouse overing on our tank. Nice. Didn't need to do much here. We're going to interrupt the Magma Fist. We're going to soothe the train knee bone tender can do his mending clay if he wants people have been interrupting that it looks like we've got enough interrupts now but i'm curious what's going to happen next because up coming up next are the melts and the melts are usually the source of breakage in uh, these lovely lovely what are they called fortified weeks on in naltharis because what ends up happening is like three of the flares target one person with a melt and just one shot them they just straight up just get one shot because nobody's interrupting and stuff i'm gonna look to see if that happens i'm hoping it doesn't i'm trying to heal through this guy's burning rush but that is just a good chunk of hp that they're missing from from that let's get these life blooms back on where they need to be tanks gonna get a big old shield they've got all the stuff we could possibly give them now i'm looking for those interrupts the warrior can get hit by one those life blooms out doesn't seem like they're stacking up a 
bunch on anyone. Yeah, they're getting killed pretty quick, so I think we're safe here. Nice. That worked out. That worked out. The mode of combustion got put on me, but I'll dispel that. I won't go I won't bother interrupting the mode of combustion cast because it's much less value than the uh the flare casts. And only if it's multiple flare casts will I actually CC. I don't think it's worth it otherwise, unless there's some like somebody's really low or whatever. But if someone's really low, I'm kind of failing to do my job here. Give movement speed. Are we trying to skip these? We're skipping a lot of stuff, but okay. Cool. I guess we're just skipping the commander and that one pull. That's that's okay. I'm gonna put my zone down here, get my life blooms back out, get my big hots on our tanky friend here. We gave them an iron bark. I'm gonna get these regrowths out because we got three regrowths for days here. Okay, get those life blooms back up. I'm gonna consume this. Need big rejuves. By consume, I mean use, uh, what's it called? My brain is just blanking. Swift men, that one. Yeah, there you go. Very smooth. The group is doing great. It feels like the group's doing great on interrupts. I don't know if they're bouncing them around or what they're doing, but I, I can appreciate it for sure. All right, I'm gonna give the tank a big shield. Maybe oh, he doesn't proc my uh, scenario ward. All right, he doesn't seem to be pulling the group downstairs. That's okay. I'm gonna go cat form and do this and convoke. By this, I mean use heart of the wild just to get it, get some use out of it. I'm getting hit by that big old bleed. We're gonna use nature swift for regrowth here. I'm just trying to get some cat form DPS down because this pull is relatively chill. We're going to do this to prevent dragonborn, uh, dragons, dragon bane axe or whatever the hell it is. That's a big dot, big dot. You don't want that going out on fortified. You don't want it going out on tyr tyrannical, to be honest. If you can stop it, you should stop it. I think we're jumping down now. We're going to stealth while jumping down. We're going to shred for the extra damage. I don't have uh, kitty cat talent, so I can't use rake. My buddy up there. Oh no, that's somebody else that's up there. Uh, big shield for me. Okay, flares were hitting me. That's that's why. That's why <laughs> my health took a nosedive. Okay, we're gonna put big hots on tank. Heal the tank. Big heals on tank. And we good. Wonderful. Get the life blooms back out. Are we pulling the other side as well? Yes, we are. It looks like the tank's just really taking a chill with these fortified pulls. I'm, I'm okay with that. I mean, it's kind of not great for the time we have left. Oh, nice reflect by the warrior. Uh, not great for the time we have to do the dungeon, but you know, we, we, we get it done. We'll get it done, I'm sure, in time. As long as we don't keep making huge mistakes. I'm going to roar that because both of them were targeting me with a melt and I wasn't feeling comfortable at all. <laughs> I don't need to start fire now. Just give the tank a big old Scenarian ward. That'll keep him nice and safe. And wild growth because people are kind of all sub max HP. I don't even know. What is the tank taking so much damage? What the heck? What's hitting the tank? Give them big shield? I've... Uh, I got so flustered there. Hold on. Big heals from these guys. I'm going to do shadow meld. That's useless. It was only on me. Okay. What the heck? Uh, swift wind. Okay. We good? Yes. Well, I'm so flustered. The tank took a shit ton of damage at the start while he wasn't really fighting anything. So I was very, very confused. Like super duper confused. I'm going to consume this on me. No, I'm not. Regrowth. Where the hell is the mage? The mage is over there. I'm just so lost in the sauce, dude. Wild growth. Look to avoid that. Mage needs big heals. Dude, what the heck is going on with the mage? Convoke with human form while targeting an ally. That should hopefully put a bunch of hots out. That did put a bunch of hots out. And we're going to flourish while we have these bunch of hots out. And that should keep us safe through Might of the Forge. There we go. Very nice. It's on me. Is he targeting you know he's targeting the warrior i'm gonna step here look at the people in the middle if you look at the people in the middle none of the uh like mm, swirlies are gonna go towards those people in the middle because the swirlies go like to the front and front left and front right of you are we gonna use a portal we're not gonna use a portal very nice <laughs> Okay, we're not going to talk about what just happened. We're not going to talk about it. No, we're just not going to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> uh, okay, what are we doing now? Are we skipping? We're skipping some more. Okay, we can just go around this way. This is so awkward. Like, now we're stuck here and people are waiting. I don't know. Are we going to snap these guys? I hope we're not snapping them. Well, maybe we are snapping them. They're not horrible to snap. It's not a big deal. Like, are we snapping them? Are we not snapping them? I can't see. Maybe the tank said something about it. Let's give him a life bloom and a rejuve and a re growth and we're going to just land like this in cat form that should prevent most of the damage or warlock friend release there we go we've snapped successfully dude you're not gonna get res just release release there you go good job you did it oh this is bad i'm gonna give uh, iron bark to our friend here we're gonna refresh the hots on them give them all of the hots big hots from our friend here okay start hotting everyone else up because we're gonna get big damage from the bird here as well i'm gonna use my defensive regrowth 
the mage and we should be good okay reset hots on the tank i can't reach the tank for some reason i couldn't target him for a second there i need to put my effervescence down efflorescence that's what it's called dumbass okay now kitty cat form and damage flourish i don't know why i went out of cat form there I'll be honest with you, I don't know why I went out of cat form there. And I don't also don't know why I moved my life bloom onto the warrior. I think that was an accidental cast. I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm gonna give movement speed to people. The only real big damage that goes out on a group here is the, the bird's um, lap. So, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Oh, man. My damage is non-existent, but like I said, I'm not focusing on damage, so we should be good. I'm gonna use kitty cat form and the thingy thing with the stuffy stuff, what's called Heart of the Wild, and Convoke on the bird in the next pull. Because this pull is pretty chill, it's mostly tank damage. Well, I didn't really, I really didn't need to do much here, so I just, I didn't even go out of cat form for most of this pull. Let's get ready for this big pull. We're gonna pre-hot the tank as much as possible. Wild growth, and before the bird even does their thing, we're gonna Convoke it. We need to rebuff the Warlock. Okay, we got our damage out onto the bird as much as possible. Now we gotta get our healing out onto the group as much as possible. Okay, it's not so bad. It's not gonna kill us. I didn't even have to heal through it, so I can just recover from it rather than having to heal through it. But on like a, an eight key, I need to heal through that. Otherwise, people are gonna die because they don't have enough HP to survive the full damage of it, right? I'm gonna get these life blooms out. Can't do anything about these interrupts, by the way. It feels horrible. I really don't like it. And we don't have percent yet because the tank had like the weirdest route I've ever seen. I've never seen somebody skip the mobs around the commander i guess we're pulling two mobs here to the side now we've got over percent because of it that's okay maybe the tank accidentally missed some mobs because we did wipe quite a bit at the start so that might have thrown them off with the pathing of the patrols and whatnot i'm giving them the benefit of the doubt maybe it's a good it's a good route which is poorly executed <laughs> And poorly executed because we wiped, right? Like, not because they, they they suck or something. Just, you know, we wiped. And then a lot of plans <laughs> go to shit after you wipe, right? All right. We're almost done here. We have enough time to time this as long as we don't wipe on the boss. So let's hopefully do that. This would be good revenge on the Neltharus. I mean, we had our... We had some, some, you know, some flaky, flaky pulls here. Warden seems to be dying before we do anything else. So we're just going to go in there and dot up the boss and the spawn. Spawn shouldn't do much, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, we do have Bloodlust. I don't know if we're lusting afterwards or something, but we're going to go ahead and Convoke here. Deal some damage to the boss. Maybe I should have done it during the shield break phase or whatever but I'm not too worried about it. Like, my damage isn't that consequential. I'm going to do the spell myself. Let's get these regrowths out. Redot the boss. We're going to put a yoink back on this guy. The mage is going to get the dispel. The warrior is really beefy, so I don't really care. I can't really reach the boss. Hopefully it hits it. It did hit it, it looks like, so we're good. Let's dispel the warrior. Now let's go kitty cat form and do some damage. Let's do some damage while the hots do their thing. Because she's not dealing any damage to us, right? I managed to get some shreds in during the shield break. After you break the shield, by the way, she takes extra damage. That's why you saw the bloodlust come out after that and everything. I'm gonna grab this. I don't have a dispel available just yet, but I will soon. Burning embers coming through. We're going to knock it away from the mage so the mage can kite it a bit more if they want to. I'm gonna dispel myself now. Could have done it for a while now, but I just didn't. Uh, we have another shield break coming through. Let's get some of these hots out. We can throw down the orb. There's the shield break. We have to instant cast heal here. Go kitty cat form and convoke, and we're done. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Let's loot this. What do we get? We got a chest piece, champion chest piece. Very nice. We can terrify that, have a champion chest piece. Love it. Nice. Thank you for the run. That was fun. We're going to reroll the Ruby Life pulls that we've already done this week into something else, which is going to be a Neltharus. Are you kidding me? I got a Neltharus after doing a Neltharus. It should prevent you that from happening. I literally just cleared this key level. I have a key that's this key level or lower. It should not give me this key. It's kind of crazy. Whatever. Portal incoming so we're gonna grab the portal we're gonna get the heck out of here okay well that's four dungeons that we've done today um the first two felt like a struggle well, actually no the first one was pretty smooth we just had a bit of a tank that was kind of lost in the sauce a little bit lost in the sauce. They were still learning. So, and that's okay. It's a five. It's still, you know, a learning level key. And then we had the, the halls of infusion. What, wait, what was after the, well, there was a halls of infusion at some point today. <laughs> there was a halls of infusion that we just shit stomped. Was there? No, the Uldaman we shit stomped, but we also kind of, oh, we didn't shit stomp the halls of infusion. We have plus five halls of infusion. It's not even two star, but yeah, there was a halls of infusion that was really rough because of the, the pulls at the start being a wipe. And then we wiped almost wiped, but we wiped more than one basically while trying to not reset the double dragon pull which the second the second dragon started moving towards us we should have just stood there and waited to die so that we can reset and do it properly because doing two dragons with me healing on a resto druid not happening not
not on fortified week, probably not even on tyrannical week, let's be honest, which I will point out if I'm sitting down and I'm focused and I'm not commentating, I might actually be able to play this class semi decently, but there's so many things to do. And in such a specific order, well, not a very specific, but a decently specific order in which you have to do them to maximize your efficiency, that it's just really hard to, to, to execute it while commentating. So while I'm commentating, expect me to make a bunch of mistakes, expect me to underutilize uh, iron bark, expect me to underutilize flourish. I used it like three times in this video or something. It's really bad. I started using Convoke a bit more often later on in the video, but still not nowhere near as, not, as much as I should. There's just a lot of things that I'm underutilizing. Most of all, I'm under... I'm underutilizing the lumpy boys. The lumpy boys need to come out in force more often. It would smooth things out a lot. It would reduce the number of globals I need to spend to heal everyone to full to be able to return to DPSing. There is also a lot of time between pulls and after I heal everyone up where I'm kind of just like, okay, what's next? What do I heal next? But there's no actual damage coming in. That is when I'm supposed to be dealing damage going cat form and stuff like that. Speaking of which, I did say I would go cat form. Now I'm thinking, how the heck am I going to do that? What exactly am I going to drop to go into cat form? Rejuvenation, improved rejuvenation can, can go away. So we're going to put that in to rake and then oh man i really want wild charge i don't want to drop wild charge don't make me drop wild charge wild charge is so good dude heart of the wild though but heart of the wild gives a lot of extra damage every five minutes so every boss fight you can use it basically i don't know man do i use it for heart of the wild or do i just do, do i like accept that i have rake and not rip i don't know man that's so bad do i have to eat shit and just not have wild charge you've seen me use it quite a few times today to good effect as well because like it got me into to range to heal heal the tank that ran super far ahead that I wasn't paying attention to and stuff like that. I could drop a point here, but I'm losing 3% of my overall healing, which is a lot, just to just to get rip for some extra DPS. Ah, uh, it looks like it's gonna have to be wild charge. It just looks like it's gonna have to be wild charge. Sunfire, how much of my damage is sunfire? Where are we here? That's healing done, dumbass. I look at that. 12% of my damage is sunfire, but 10% of my damage is ferocious bite, which some of those ferocious bites could be transferred from from like 85k damage into what is this 340k damage if i used rip so like maybe i drop sunfire and instead of sunfiring i do ra uh, rake and moonfire i'm gonna drop sunfire just because i really want to keep wild charge now there's probably like some experienced resto droids looking at this and being like just drop wild charge dude. it's not a big deal but it is a big deal to me it means a lot to me there's sentimental value there's also really funny moments where i try to use the wild charge to get to someone and they get knocked up by volcanic because i completely ignore volcanic the entirety of the week <laughs> oh man but yeah I'm just, I'm just gonna go i'm just gonna go with the old ripperoni instead of uh sunfireoni so yeah there we're, we're gonna grab that and we're gonna call it a day that's gonna be my wonky ass build man <laughs> that's gonna be what i do cool uh one thing that i didn't notice today is i underutilized efflorescence to to like quite a bit i've seen a verdancy is usually all the way up there and also nourish and regrowth are way up there for for most uh most druids that actually heal properly so yeah verdancy for me is only 2.9 percent and efflorescence essence is only 3.6 percent so i do need to pay more attention to efflore uh, pay pay more attention to efflorescence i'm getting tongue-tied i've been recording for four hours but I am getting more value out of my Nourish from the Tree Ants and from me using my uh, four set. The four set, by the way, I feel like a new human. <laughs> it's so good. The four set is a godsend. I'm so salty that I didn't get it before I started recording the dungeons uh, in the previous video. Because if you've seen the previous video, I basically, I grab my three piece out of the vault and then I'm like, I hope I get a piece so I can get my four set. But I had shoulders I could terrify the entire time and I didn't realize I thought they were crafted so I couldn't terrify them. Anyway, uh, that was a long ass rant. Hopefully you enjoyed it. <laughs> and also, that's pretty much the end of the video. So if you enjoyed it, drop a like. Let me know what you liked about it in a comment down below. If you had fun, make sure you subscribe because there's more episodes coming. And if you're feeling particularly generous, you can become a channel member. Channel members have guaranteed replies to their comments and they get nice little shout outs at the beginning of videos. <gasps> oh, but as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you in the next episode. That was really... It was just full of dramatic pauses for no reason. Hopefully you enjoyed those. Do you enjoy dramatic pauses for no reason? I do. Do you? I just asked you twice if you enjoyed them. Anyway, have a good one. Talk to you later. Brush your teeth. Stay in, stay in, stay in school, kids. Don't do drugs. <laughs> what the fuck?